Hello and welcome back to Scratch Golf Academy. I'm Anthony Vesecchia. I'm a Titleist Performance Certified Golf Fitness Instructor. And today I wanna to give you three simple drills, actually some of my favorite drills, that'll help you eliminate your slice. All right, before we start the drills, I want you to like this video, subscribe, and please comment, comment any questions that you have. I do check the comments and I love getting back to you guys and also it helps me give you more videos. Uh, but the, for the first drill I wanna do, I call this, I call it a pendulum swing. <clears throat> But the whole point of this one, right here I have a RMT, but the point of this one is just to help with dissociation. So it's to help you separate your upper body from your lower body. That way you don't start your downswing by coming over the top with your upper body and leading with that first. So it forces you to lead your lower body and that'll help you drop the club down more into the slot. Uh, you can use just a dumbbell in this position for this drill. You can hold the dumbbell down like this and use it the same way but I'm gonna go ahead and use that RMT. You could use an Indian club, whatever you may have. Um, you can use a weighted club for this as well. So we're gonna start just by starting our hands back here and we're going to move our hips as it becomes a pendulum, just swinging back and forth like this. Every time it passes my trail thigh, I'm gonna fire my hip back towards the target again. So it'll look like this. And you'll see it force lag here because I'm driving it back through with my hip and you'll see it automatically create lag right there at the top. You'll notice if it's just swinging back and forth like this, you're using your upper body. If you see the lag happen, that's because you did lead with your hips and that will snap it back down, make the weight float a little bit. So that's a pendulum swing. It forces dissociation. I do like for coordination purposes, people to do it the other direction once in a while. Just for coordination, um, you should also swing out on the range the other direction too once in a while just for coordination as well. So that's the first one, that is a pendulum swing. For the next drill, I'm going to do a, what I call a wall drill. So I, so a lot of times I tell people to set up a corner in their house if they have an open corner, but if you don't, you can just go to a flat wall and then have a chair as your other point of reference. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this box down so you can see what I mean by that. So I'm gonna put the box right here so I'm making my own little corner. I'm going to put my hands behind my rear end and I'm going to back up against the wall or the box in this case. Move, remove my hands so there's about an inch between my rear end and the wall. I'm gonna put my foot up against the other wall and I'm going to go to the top of my swing. I'm going to make sure my right cheek touches. And then as I start my downswing, I'm gonna make sure my left cheek and my thigh will hit this one and my left cheek will hit the box behind me. So this is the wall drill, right cheek, left cheek, thigh. So left cheek and thigh are gonna hit at the same time. The point of this is to make sure that your rear end stays back and you don't get into an early extension in this position. Because if you do get in this position, your whole path tends to move that way. So now your path is coming across the ball instead of in a nice inside out golf swing or golf path, swing path. So again, we're gonna set up here. We're gonna go right cheek, left cheek. That one is the wall drill. Okay, now this next drill is going to be helping you keep your arm in this externally rotated position so you're here and keeping it, your elbow close to your side so that you don't go this way and come over the top with the club this direction because your arm can't get back. So this drill over time, the more you work it, will help you get your arm back in this position so that you can keep that inside out club path and not coming over the top with your elbow that way or your arm or your hands coming that way and across. So I have a furniture slider. Uh, I'm set up against the box. If you at home and you know you have mirrors or something like that. You can also just hold a towel in your hand and kind of grab a towel and slide that down your wall. I wouldn't suggest doing this. Your wife will kill you, gentlemen. Don't slide these down your wall. Um, but yeah, just use a towel. You can put it up against the wall and you can practice it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here with it kind of behind me. I'm gonna give you another view in a moment so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to slide it down and try to keep my elbow coming in right here to my hip position. So again, I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna drive through and keep it in that position. So now I'm gonna give you a couple angles. So from the angle behind me, you'll see my hand is up here. It would be in the position if I had my other hand right next to it and I'm going to slide down just like this at an angle this way. So again, slide down and keep trying to work that 
And some people, I tell them to go ahead and keep a towel right here underneath their arm so that they don't drop the towel and get in this position while they're doing it. So you wanna keep a towel right here under your arm and rotate through and keep that towel there if you wanna use a towel. So you can see it from the other angle. I'm gonna go lefty and you'll see it from the front. You can see if I had a towel here, I'd have that towel tucked. And I'm going to now just rotate here, keeping that towel tucked. And again, on these, make sure your rear end stays back. So those are three of my favorite drills to help people from stopping a slice. Again, like, subscribe, and keep watching it, and we'll bring you more content.